then like generalize it a little bit more yeah so they're like so talk about it like that people yeah so they'll gaslight you like proper. yeah so what does gaslighting mean so gaslighting is like say for our, example, our listeners are men basically 80 <laughs> percent. if i just said like yeah i like oranges yeah just yeah, pretend, yeah, yeah. and then you're like why did you just say i like oranges I'm like, i saw this fucking on instagram today oh really and then yeah, i'll be like what are you on about i never said that are you yeah. hearing things i never said i like oranges even though i literally just said it and yeah, i'll yeah. make you believe that i never said it even though i just said it okay you will cool. actually so it's have like you, covering up your you tracks. have yourself second guessing yourself like that was actually a good definition <laughs> you know <laughs> most people don't actually give the right oh, definition i'm so kind of bad thing. at explaining stuff as yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So. no you get uh, you know you just get a little <laughs> bit more comfortable on the mic you know right yeah so that's what gaslighting is yeah so I'll say like they're really like gaslighty. Mm, gaslighty. Like you can't <laughs> do anything. Yeah. Like literally, so I had like even before this Instagram, I had yeah. an, uh, the older. Co- uh, what do you mean you can't co- do anything? Like, just normal things like with friends. Is that? Yeah. What like if you want to go out with your girls and stuff like that? Yeah, it was just always like mm. jar- it was jarring. Yeah. Like, but even like my old overprotective my old social medias like yeah. they got deleted <laughs> not even yeah, yeah. deactivated my old so i had an old instagram yeah, and yeah, i used yeah, to yeah. like model yeah and like yeah, yeah like yeah you were telling that me that yeah, was yeah. quite that even that instagram like blew up quite quick yeah and my tiktok i had a tiktok he made me delete like, all of that <laughs> oh shit <laughs> like not even deactivate so even he made he, you delete it yeah it That's was crazy. so toxic and then like they'll just be lying to you like constantly like yeah just everything yeah, what uh, lying about? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say cheating. This time, yeah, God knows. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Like everything just felt like felt like lies. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And just th- if like, well, like when they when someone's lied to you once, they don't want to communicate. They just you never believe you. them, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then they just ghost you. Like mm. you know, like toxic people, they'll just ghost you. Like yeah, it's easy not to deal with the guilt, right? And I feel like every every guy kind of has that phase where they're kind of being a dickhead. Like yeah. I've definitely lived through that phase, yeah. and, like, and I, I like see like certain resemblances in terms of like ghosting, and then like yeah. maybe not gaslighting per se, because I'm like almost too bluntly honest. Yeah, but um, yeah, the other oh, shit. Oh, the like, gaslighting was that. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, and it happens to so many people. Then you, you, you it, yeah, it happens a lot. Like a lot of girls do it, you know. Yeah, not yeah. just like it can work both ways. Yeah, yeah, it always works both ways, <laughs> it? but no one sees like the equivalent, right? Yeah just like the algorithm right no one sees like the equivalent algorithm yeah so we will see different shit therefore yeah. our perspectives are shifted yeah love is blind. so much so you're so blind that you yeah. don't even you'll just believe what someone's yeah you give them the benefit of the doubt right yeah and, and you just technically you do need a lot of benefit of the doubt in a relationship regardless mm. and you need to like compromise and shit like that you do yeah but you know when you go over the line yeah. and when you believe something that's like deceitful like, then you yeah get you, triggered. you grow this so like i generally and then it's like a scar right that you have to like kind of like yeah but i'm away. so grateful now yeah. like now that i look back i'm so grateful for everything that ever happened to me because i feel like yeah that makes me who i am today like that's what everyone said i, I feel matured. like that's what you have to say yeah. no but i, I no, but you know what i mean like like, i'm like, matured yeah. and learned so much like i generally feel like yeah. i can spot these flat like i'm not saying like okay, it was never gonna happen to me again whatever yeah but i feel like oh i could spot them way better than someone that's never been through yeah it. your perception has leveled yeah, up yeah because, you because can, of your experience you know yeah, like, that's just bullshit if you know what i mean yeah that's what i say like and obviously kind of, yeah. i have a sister in it and I'm obviously trying to, like, tell her, you know what, like, you know, just wait up. Like, don't get into anything crazy because it's going to fuck you up kind of thing. Mm. Like, I try to tell my sister that because of the relationships that I've been through, I'm able to, like, have this wider perspective so I can tell her. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, to a certain extent, that's, like, a little coping coping mechanism for me where I'm like, okay, yeah. you know, this happened already, but how do I deal with it? Okay, I'm going to believe that it's something that's going to make me stronger, perceive things in the future. And then form better relationships, which I believe we we both will because of that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I know people say it, but yeah. I genuinely believe like going through it, yeah. learn so much, and you yeah. won't kind of go through it again. Like, well, you you, you less likely less, you're less yeah. yeah. Like when it happens to you once, you'll be like, I'm not dealing with this again. You yeah. Because yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. it was like very. So why do you think you stayed in it for so long? Oh, why I probably. <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah i was it's stupid now but i'd say yeah love um and when you're in it you don't really see it as much mm. 
And then when you're coming out of it, you're like, oh my God, what the hell? Like you kind of like diminish the bad side a little yeah. bit when you're going through it. Yeah. Because even like, I know people in relationships and something mm. goes bad, like toxic. and But you know that they know. But <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. they know. Yeah. And yeah, they know yeah. they know. Oh, it's them ones. But like they can't. Like, it's you can't discuss attachment, it. Attachment. Yeah. And uh, I feel like a lot of that happens with like the religion thing. And then they'll be nice. In our generation. Huh? Oh. I was, I was, I was, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was like, then they'll be nice and really, really nice when you're... Yeah, yeah they'll try to bite you off, And you're like, oh my God, yeah. And then like you just fall back <laughs> more in love, whatever. And then, yeah. But what were you saying about the religion? I feel like the religion element comes up a lot, right? Where it's like, okay, if you're from different religions, right? Yeah. You kind of like ride this whole like love train out until you get to the point where you're yeah. like, this is so serious now. So now I'm going to have to find a way to cut mm. without hurting this person's feelings. And what that tends to do, the overthinking there tends to make that suffering a little bit harsher. Mm. I've you never, know? I've never. You've never done that? I've, yeah. I've always, so I'm Sikh, Punjabi. Mm, yeah. And I've always. Yeah, they stick together, innit? it? <laughs> but I've, yeah. I've dated Hindus and Sikhs. Yeah, yeah. That's just the, not like, that's just the way it is. But like, yeah. there's, that, there's never been like a like family have never been not okay with that so it's yeah. been fine so i've never but i feel like to. there's an element uh of people breaking up because of that and they aren't able to voice it because then it comes across as like you know uh, it's sad though you're against the religion because say if you've literally found like someone yeah. you vibe with so much and yeah, yeah, just yeah. because of religion yeah you but can't. you know i i kind of understand like why it kind of breaks up a little bit easier because the family is like a huge element yeah. of your like communion you know yeah. and personally i've never wanted to be the person to be like oh i'm gonna you know only go for my own religion but i feel yeah. like now i'm at that stage because i've gone through like so many different like yeah variations shall we say yeah very. you know yeah and like long-term variations as well it wasn't like you know yeah, flings yeah. In that. so yeah i can't really i've just i've literally only been with super hippie people yeah yeah, like probably a safe option but just like you know <laughs> one was a fuck boy and you know <laughs> let's see what happens in the future i guess you know what i mean yeah i mean uh, he wasn't the only oh i've been with some right just even before that, but i felt like i was younger and that that was like mm. less severe you yeah. know the ones where you think you're in love but you're not really but at the time yeah, you yeah, yeah i think yeah. that's been the case before puppy love isn't it that's what they call yeah, it yeah like puppy love sort of yeah. thing but but yeah, no, I push mm. you to go into the gym, yeah, and start a whole business from it and all this <laughs> shit. So you know what? You have to like count your lucky stars at that, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? It was just meant to be. Yeah. So what what do you feel about this whole Instagram thing and you popping off and people DMing you and <laughs> catching you off guard and shit? What do you say, man? I mean Love. love.